this is just going to be a small quick video I wanted to make just to put on the channel. I don't really give a crap how many people see it. This isn't going to be some kind of Irelia, Irelia carries you, hey, I'm leaving the game, guys, and you come back a week later. No, this is, this is just a straight up, like, a pseudo-apology. I've been looking at the way I've been playing this game for the last couple of months, and it, it, it really frightened me how bad I've been. I've been sitting in Diamond 5 for a long time. Long time. The highest I've ever been on this account is Diamond 3, and I really thought I was making progress when I got there, but I immediately got downgraded right back to Diamond 5, and it's not because of a lot of the things people will bitch about, like, you know, Destiny's playing a plat 1, and he's always saying, well, your team, my team's bad, well, this is bad, that's bad. That's fine, dude, but you got to find a way past it. It can be that you can, the roadblocks are there. It's all about getting over them. And if it was really impossible, then then good players wouldn't do it. It's possible. You just, we can't find, we keep banging our heads, we keep, like, banging our shins against that blockade, and we, and we go, fuck, this thing is impassable. It's not. It's really not. I've seen people who I deem, and this is the bit, this is the worst part, who I deem worse than me, get farther. Like, the, like I, I would just think, well, he's bad. He could never get Diamond 1, and they do. Like, I watch Aqua Dragon, and he's the most upbeat dude ever, and he's amazing, and he's a great content creator, and he's a great streamer. And he's getting Diamond 1, Masters. He got Masters with uh, AD Malzahar Jungle. He's playing AP Nar, and I'm going, dude, that's a shit build. And he's still in Gold 3, but end of the day, he's chilling up in Diamond 1, Diamond 2. And the main thing that actually made me kind of look at myself and go, what the fuck am I doing was, um, I had somebody who I've known for a long time that's been on my friends list for a long time. This guy named Tornado Watch. Long story short, I played with him black back in, uh, I think season, the right near the beginning of season four when I had the account coming up, uh, around the midway mark when I was first ranking up through the ranks with the GP account, this account here. He was in like plat two and we, um, we duo botted and we destroyed, so I asked him to duo, or he asked me, I can't remember. I think it was me asking him, though, I'm not sure. Because I thought he was a smurf, because he was mechanically fantastic. He was one of the better vein players I, I'd ever seen in my life. I said, holy shit, this guy's got everything on lock. He knows exactly where to be, exactly what to do. And he told, and I was like, what are you doing in plat 2? He was just like, well, I tilt really easily. And I said, oh, okay. So we duoed, and I saw it firsthand. He did tilt. We had a couple games where he was extremely far ahead. We were extremely far ahead, but we still lost because... He had no concept of, you know, map objective control. He had, he, he knew he was the best duelist Vayne I'd ever seen. Hands down. I haven't played with him since, I couldn't say that, but he was Gosu level of just making plays, uh, turning 2v1s into, into, in, into triple kills because the jungler showed up and he killed him too. And it's just like, back when I played with him, I said, you're fantastic, you could easily be Diamond 1, what the fuck? And he just said, yeah, but, and then like, I played with him and then we tilted and we lost some games. I said, okay, that's why you're not Diamond 1. And I talked to him and I said, dude, just practice, just practice, 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 get your map vision together and you'll be great someday. And he said, okay, but I'll see you later. And then we kind of never talked. Like a week ago, he told me, hey, I, uh, I just got masters or I'm going into my masters promos and he won them and he got masters. And honestly, I was super glad for him. But when he said that to me and I remembered who he was in the games we played, I got really... I, I looked back at my, I looked, I was, I was looking in the mirror, like the mental mirror. I was just going, what the fuck am I doing? And I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm being a really, a really dumb player and a really like, you know, reprehensible player. And that's gotta stop. And I want this to be a pity party. I don't want this to be a, I'm the worst. Sorry. I'll, I apologize. I'll be better. I want this to be, I need to reevaluate what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is being a really crap person as a gangplank main for anybody else who might want to main gangplank i make all these videos i make all these things but i don't really do any self-improvement i kind of talk down to people i say you do this do that and i condescend I, I i get into games and i something goes wrong and i immediately start raging this is why i got perma banned way back in season two this is why i didn't this is why I first started doing this account i told myself hey i'm gonna really reevaluate i'm gonna play for fun but i'm still gonna play to win and that's why i started playing gp so, sincerely, I'm sorry for anybody who's been watching or anybody who tried to watch and kind of stopped watching me because of my bitch fests. When I get into games and lose, I'll bitch all day about it. That's not fun. It's not entertaining. It's not It's not helping you get better as a player, just seeing me, oh, I lost a Riven, GG, balance champion. That's fine, but I really have to be better and do better and act better more than anything. And I hope you guys will still be aboard when I do that going forward. I'm going to be streaming right now. I'm going to be sticking to the Minuteman account. I'm going to be playing some GP. I'd very much like it if you guys stopped by and said hi. And uh, 
Thank you for watching.